let's talk about alcohol use and excess use or alcohol abuse. And I want to talk about this from a public health perspective. In other words, this video isn't about you personally. It's about how we as society want to engage with a recreational product that from time to time most of us enjoy socially, but it's also very addictive and we know that it can cause harm. And just so that you know, this channel is sponsored by Nested Knowledge. That's a platform that supports systematic literature review and meta-analysis. They're absolutely amazing. Check out the link in the description below. And with that, on with the lesson. Now we must accept that at a population level, alcohol use translates into extraordinary levels of morbidity and mortality. The WHO estimates that 3.3 million deaths each year can be attributed to alcohol use. It causes liver disease, cardiovascular disease, certain types of cancer, and it can precipitate violence and antisocial behavior. It's an addictive substance and it can massively impact on a person's professional, personal and family life. So yes, we do need to take this problem seriously. To address alcohol misuse and to reduce its impact on health, there are several public health actions that we can take. These include, firstly, education and outreach. Public health authorities can provide information to the public about the risks of alcohol abuse and the importance of responsible drinking. Now, here is a book that I'm going to dip into many, many times for years to come. It's Public Health and Society Current Issues. I read the book, absolutely full of gems, insights, useful information. I cannot recommend this book highly enough. Please take a look. If you're interested in public health, in any aspect of public health, this book is going to be useful to you. There's going to be a link in the description below. Click on the link, buy the book, give it a read. Okay, on with the video. This can include campaigns to raise awareness about the dangers of alcohol and to encourage moderation. Secondly, regulation. Public health authorities can implement regulations that reduce the availability and the appeal of alcohol. Things like taxes on alcohol, restriction on advertising, and the limit on sales. Thirdly, treatment and support. We can provide treatment and support for individuals with alcohol abuse disorders, including counseling, support groups, and medication. And finally, research. We need to invest in and support research to better understand the impacts of alcohol abuse and to develop more effective strategies to reduce alcohol abuse. By taking these actions, it is possible to reduce the impact of alcohol abuse on the health and improve the well-being of our communities. I hope you found this video useful. Please stay and watch another video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Have a great day. Thank you.